Working on over here. I was only 19 years old. I was doing the best I could do to try and make money legitimately. Although right now at the moment of time, it was illegal. But I always had it in my mind that someday this was going to stop. But at that particular time, I just couldn't stop because I was too far gone. And I was addicted to selling drugs. And I couldn't see another way out. And he sold drugs to keep the doors open. He did that to have his business. He struggled. But he remembered that he had to go back to the way he was tired, the way he was raised in the church. And that's to put the Lord first. He has blessed him this new business. I had two of the best mechanics in Mansfield working for me. Um, one name was Charles Hunt, the other name was Jimmy Owens. He's dead now. Rest in peace, Jimmy. I had him working here, you know, we was all real close and, um, you know, I remember one day I made $1,500 in just one day. And I mean, I should have saw that, you know, that was legal money and I could have made my way out. But like I say, I was too far gone and I was addicted. I can remember probably when I was around about 19, you know, when I got my shop, you know, um, you know, I had a lot of people in my shop, you know, a lot of drug addicts working around my shop, fixing on cars, you know, I brought some in the paint cars even, you know, had my personal car painted in the shop, you know, I used to have white girls in the shop, you know what I'm saying, tricking. Doing a lot of things went on inside the shop besides just the sale of drugs, I had a lot of, you know, illegal activity that went on inside the shop. I used to have this one saying with everybody I dealt with, and I say, all I want is one thing from you. I'm gonna give you everything from me. And they'd always ask me, well, what is it you want? Well, I tell them I want loyalty because if I have loyalty, everything else gonna come. You know, it, it occurred to me, you know, I started giving people in the streets who I dealt with tests to see how loyal they would be and how faithful they would be and dedicated they would be to me, especially for the things that I was doing for them. I test people, you see, they loyal to the guy. Get out there the only time he tested when he went and got it. You feel me? And when he went and got it, he broke it off and sat back again for like four weeks. And then every month, every week, he's talking about collect. I understand, you know, of course, you know, being around somebody and you start gaining in the streets and, you know, you start getting the money, you know, buying material things, you know, uh, other people, they want to feel like they're a part of that, you know. And I was the type of person, if you didn't work hard with me, you know, if you didn't plant that seed and water it and help me grow, when the food comes and I prepare it, then you can't eat with me, you know. And that was the bottom line of the whole situation, me dealing with everybody who I was involved with in the streets. I was betrayed, you know, by um, a close friend of mine in the you know, beginning when I start, first started selling drugs. And, um, you know, me and him was real close. He fought for his right. He got his freedom back. And he earned it because he was right. Living example of how God can come in and change you and give you more when you let those destructive things go. I mean, obey and give you the gift. If we go out here listening, when you think of people that I know, people know everybody who's selling drugs. People know everybody who's selling drugs. And it's it just, you get to think about all the money you make, man. And by the time you realize what you're doing, it's gone all over again. You right back to square one, man. You gotta start all over. You don't wanna keep doing this. You get your future behind you, you know? You ain't gotta worry about nothing like that. Guess one thing, I guess he, he know when to quit. I told him, once you make a goal, you got to stop. But if you don't, you lose everything you got. You know, to 
get that timing.